All on your best mix of music, 98.4 Capital FM. My name is Chow, and I am very, very, very happy to come to this part of the show, which is where I have a guest and studio. It can get pretty lonely, you know? I mean, I'm doing the show with you, and then I have the opportunity to have a guest. It's like, voila! And that's exactly what is happening right now. Ariane who was recommended to me, and we're going to talk about that. I first want to welcome you onto the show. Hi, thank you. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. So, are your nerves still there? Because I don't think yeah. you should be nervous <laughs> at all. Are you scared of going to the dentist and having your teeth pulled out? Yeah. Is it painful? Is it scary, painful? Yeah. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is like 0.1 in comparison to going to the dentist. Okay, that, that's, true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I have no uh, paraphernalia. We're just going to have a good time and jam. Okay. All right. You good for that? Yes, I am. All right. Speaking of jamming, let's talk about your musical journey. When and how did it start? Because you are, you are comp- you're going to see this in the video after the show, but Ariane is, a comp- is an artist's artist's dream. <laughs> she, is, she looks like art. My videographer... Uh, you know, went through your profiles and he said she is a real artist and, you know, he's the one who's producing uh, this the segment. So yeah. talk to us about your music and your journey. Um, well, I started writing um, when I was about 11. So I just started writing songs. My first song was really horrible. <laughs> one of the worst. But after that, I was just one of those people who enjoyed music. I've always loved it. So you'd always find me in choir or in the music club, anything that had to do with music, I'd just try and do it. So after finishing my O-levels, I got to go to Brook House for BTEC Music. And that was really wonderful, best two years of my life. And I learned a lot there, how to write a lot more, how to produce, um, perform better. And I had a lot of really great friends and mentors that just taught me a lot. And then after graduating from Brookhouse, I went to the States for a bit to do a bachelor's degree in songwriting, but now I'm just back. Oh, wow. So you have a bachelor's in songwriting? No, I don't have a Did you, you didn't finish? No, I didn't, sadly. Why? Um, my school closed down before <laughs> I could. <laughs> Wait, <Yeah>. why? <laughs> what caused that? That is so random. So are you able to transfer those credits somewhere else, do you think? Mm, I probably could. But at the moment, I actually just decided I want to focus on actually just doing music. But I do plan on um, doing courses in music, like music business, and just going back to school for it. All right. So you want to be, uh, you you don't, you know, songwriting means, you know, you are getting to be one of those songwriters who get all those royalties. You've (laughs) chosen to learn on the job. Yeah. And at a future point in time, you want to get the business angle in, the marketing, all of that great stuff in. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That works. Mm-hmm. Well, I think the first thing that we're going to, I'm going to touch on next after this is the fact that you play a very special instrument. I do. Let's talk about that. Yes. I play the ukulele. Okay. Let's, the ukulele. Let's talk about the ukulele. Yes. Um, most people would assume it's a tiny guitar. So if you <laughs> just imagined a tiny guitar, you're on point, but it's not. And it's probably one of those things you'd see in, like, a Hawaiian song. Yeah, because that's what the ukulele is about. Yeah. What got you to play the ukulele? Uh, When I was in the States, I had a friend who had this really cute pink ukulele. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, this is really cute. So um, I borrowed it and wrote my first song on it. It was called Little Girl. And after that, I just fell in love with the tone, the, the vibe it gives me. And... Also because I feel like guitars are too big for me. Any other <laughs> instrument I use <laughs> just too large. So this was just my... It's your fit. Yes. It's your fit. Perfect. Would you... If, if you were in a band, um, mm-hmm. could you only have one ukulele per ensemble, per, per, per band? You can't have a number of ukuleles, can you? Oh, you can. Okay. And there's different styles. Mine is a soprano ukulele. Um, he's actually called Bagheera. Oh, your ukulele has a name. Yes, your ukulele has a name. Ukulele has a name. So he's called Bagheera. Oh, so we have our sports, one of our sports people who's coming and said Aloha. Named after um, a childhood pet. 
Bagheera. Yes. Your ukulele is Gira after childhood pet. Yes. Y'all got guitars. Next time you come onto the show, and the next, you see, you started <laughs> something. So the next time anyone comes onto the show, I'm going to find out what your guitar is called or your instrument is called and who it's named after. I did not know this was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is a soprano ukulele, and you can find alto and baritone ones as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Can we go into the next song? Because I'm kind of feeling this. Yes, we can. We yes. can. So, I'm a lover. I, I write a lot of love songs. Woo. It's quite well. sappy. <laughs> oh. oh, so did you say, Moses, you're a lover too? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're, gonna, you're feeling this next song, you're, even before it's played. All right, so there you go. That's my <laughs> camera. <laughs> like, I feel this song. So it's called I'll Be The One. And she's kind of like, I'll be the one to be there for you. I'll be the one to care for you. I'll be here for you. Okay, yeah. let's hear it with Bur- Bagheera. Yes, Bagheera. With, with Bagheera, the ukulele. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> picture, little glimpse of the things you see. I'll be your muse, your Mona Lisa. Show me what you call beauty. Trace every line with your finger, every dip, a tender kiss. I'll be the strings on your electric guitar. Play me like your favorite riff. I've never been one for silver or gold But in you I found a treasure I'm willing to hold And I'll be the one to never let go Cause in you I found a pleasure that's better than hope Oh, yes, I'll be the one Write me a script, a screenplay Little glimpse of the things you think I'll be your bell, I'll be your princess Save me from the falling brink I've never been one for silver or gold But in you I found a treasure I'm willing to hold And I'll be the one to never let go Cause in you I found a pleasure that's better than hope Oh, yes, I'll be the one I'll be the one I'll be the one The yin to your yang, the moon to your sun Oh yes, oh baby, I'll be the one The groove to your beat, the sound to your sweet Oh yes, baby, I'll be the one Oh, 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 I've never been one for silver or gold But in you I found a treasure I'm willing to hold I'll be the one to never let go Cause in you I found a pleasure that's better than hope Oh, yes, I'll be the one Oh, wow. I think you got a little audience as well to the side. They never come into, he never comes into the studio. Uh Uh-oh. So it's the ukulele. I think it's feeling a little bit like Hawaii right now. Is that right? You feel like it's Hawaii? Yeah, he's like, yeah, it feels like Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So, yeah, you're feeling a little, okay. <laughs> Listen, do you perform at all? Um, I or have, have you started performing? I'm trying. I, I, when I first came back, I did perform. But mostly what I've been doing is just trying to create content that I can go out to perform, but I really do want to. To get in there. Yeah. And bring, bring your style in there. Do you sing in Swahili at all? Uh, I do have a few songs that I include Swahili or like Kamba and or other any other language that I I want to like what I can. Uh-huh. Yeah, incorporate. Okay. <laughs> My camera man is like you see I told you. <laughs> Moses, you want to calm down a little bit? <laughs> Very excited today. <laughs> Never get this from you, blushing and all. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I'm bringing a vibe. Yes, you are definitely bringing vibes. This is total vibes, by the way. <laughs> Absolute vibes. Where can we get your music, Annabelle? Uh, so you can 
actually Ariana. I called you Annabelle. <laughs> Ariana. <laughs> it's okay. Um, you can actually find a lot of my music on YouTube or SoundCloud as well as Mudundo. I okay. have a, a few songs up on Mudundo. Okay. So you're getting paid for that? Some money's coming in. I don't know how much, but some? Yeah. Okay. And then, um, yeah, actually, that's where you can find all my music. YouTube, SoundCloud, Mudundo. All right. And how do we find you on social media? You can go to my Facebook page, which is Enaira. Okay. As well as my Insta and Twitter, which is Enaira with an underscore. Spell that it's E double N A I R underscore A. All right, so that's how we find Miss Ariana here on uh, Enaira, Enaira underscore A on both Twitter and Instagram, and then Enaira on Facebook. She can be found on both on all social media platforms, including SoundCloud and YouTube. Look at you, marketing genius. <laughs> Look at you, girl. We can find you. We are not going to miss you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. We've for had a having great, me. great time with you. I'm, I'm just, your vibe is just very laid back, man. Thank you. We're going to make sure that we <laughs> incorporate this into the videos so that when people watch it, they could see the vibe that you brought into the studio. Very chilled. I love it. Thank you. I love it. I can't wait to hear your music. When you get some music out, can you please send it to me? I will. I definitely will. Okay. We're going to be hearing some more of Ariane's music. And you get to hear Soul with the ukulele. Uh, yeah. Her ukulele is a soprano ukulele called Bagheera. Did I get it right? Yes. There we go. It's got a name. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. And, of course, for keeping me company this Sunday.